wow you guys it's been a long time since i've been on here i've been back at work full time which has been a struggle but officially now off work for a year and a half there will be lots of content but i just thought i'd update you on life and how stressful it's been where do i even begin so beginning of january i potty trained madeline which was really stressful but she caught on extremely quickly she's fully potty trained actually i shouldn't say fully because poops are definitely a hit and miss with her but i will take that um just worked again full time it was really exhausting and then february comes i start spotting here and there a couple times a week and so my doctor finally said look this this could potentially make you high risk for preterm labor so that's when um i got written off work so here i am at home trying to get my life organized and right now my life feels like it's in shambles but yeah i had an ultrasound yesterday i had blood work yesterday my iron is extremely low like to the point where i should have been having iron infusions a long time ago that hasn't been helping my tiredness anxiety it's been struggle people anyways so today i'm home it is now nine o'clock madeline's at daycare i'm going to get the house cleaned and i'm going to show you a new item i got that i'm in love with it's the bissell crosswave it vacuums and mops my floor so i will show you how that works a little bit later i have to clean my room i sound like a child saying that but i do so anyways let's get going all right so this is the amazing bissell crosswave okay so first thing i do <clears throat> is i put the brush roll back in it there this is the container for the dirty mop water and then on the back here is the solution that you fill but i'm gonna fill this up and we'll get going show you um i literally just did our kitchen dining room and living room which isn't even like that big of a space this is literally the water like how disgusting is that that is gross that's just from doing like a little bit of mopping this machine is amazing first off bissell please or any other floor cleaning like that company please sponsor me and second if you've been wanting one go get one because it's incredible probably not the most attractive angle but that's okay i wanted to try this product out on camera for you guys i saw it at the dollar store and the old owners or renters didn't really upkeep the toilet very well so there's really hard like water marks on it so i saw this at the dollar store they're just like pumice stones but apparently it's supposed to fix all of that so i don't really like to expose my toilet but i guess i'm going to for you guys all right so i don't know if you can see the bottom of the bowl it looks really gross so and the camera probably won't pick it up but there's some just like lines here that drive me nuts so i'm gonna try and get that bit out at the bottom of the bowl and i'll keep you updated i wanted to pop on here to tell you to absolutely not get that pumice stone for the toilet because it took the finish off of the toilet it literally like rubbed the finish off the toilet so now it's even worse than before highly do not recommend i ended up getting in the mail from amazon a vacuum dryer vent cleaning kit so it comes with this guy and then it also comes with a vacuum attachment which i'll do tomorrow but i just thought i'd show you guys and see if it works so let's try it all right and take it back out I'm not sure how this really works but let's see Ooh. 
little bit coming out. There's definitely chunks coming out. It's not doing what I thought it would. Ooh, jackpot. That was quite a bit. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. This is definitely getting quite a bit of stuff out. All right, so I think we're gonna save the rest for tomorrow's vacuum use, but I got out a lot of stuff. So that works awesome. All right, I'm back with my empty vacuum. I'm really hoping this attachment works. Um, but I did, as you can see, a load of laundry last night and the dryer was super rattly after clearing it out. So I'm a little concerned I wrecked the dryer, but let's see if this works and makes a difference. All right, that is crazy. Look at my vacuum. It is full and then I have all of this as well. That is insane. I'm surprised we didn't have a house fire. I thought I'd show you, like this is a lot. That's crazy, oh my gosh. Okay, well anyways, highly recommend this attachment and that bristle brush, that's crazy. And that's not even including the stuff I got from the bristle brush yesterday. I'm finding some pretty good cleaning products and that I'm really excited about. All right, so I am going to be cleaning my walls and I have a little hat for you guys. I have an empty laundry detergent bottle. Don't throw these out. Run super hot water, put the water in here, give this a good shake, pour it into a bowl, grab your cloth and you've got your cleaning water. That's how I do it. And then I have good smelling walls, good smelling house, so. That's what I'm doing, I'm gonna clean the walls. I have my Swiffer here as well so I can attach the cloth and get up really high to the ceiling. Um, yeah, I just have my cloth here. So, ugh. it is a little bit sudsy for my liking, but that's okay. Right, so I finished that bit in the dining room and in the hallway I washed my doors. I'm going to wipe down all of my cupboards, which is a huge job. I'm gonna use Dawn dish soap for that just to fight the grease from our fingers from cooking on the stove. So I will do that too. I just feel like I'm really in nesting mode right now and I just feel like I need to get my house like deep, deep cleaned. Ugh, I'm just so stressed for this baby, I don't know why i think it's just because life right now is really stressful there's a lot going on i thought this was going to be a time for me before baby not working to really relax get the house together get things sorted for baby but it feels like the complete opposite it feels like my my life is in shambles it feels like i'm just trying to put pieces back together so hopefully all the pieces are put back together before baby comes. Well, let's get back to cleaning. <clears throat> All right, so I'm about to do my cupboards. I have the stools up so I can go in behind the island and clean it there. But all I did was put blue Dawn dish soap with some warm water in a bowl. I have my scrub daddy. So just dip it in there, clean the cupboards, and then right away, um, dry it. Because if you don't, it could ruin your cupboards. You don't want to bubble <clears throat> your cupboards at all. So yeah, let's go to the floor and start working on my cupboards because they're disgusting. It's really bad underneath here. I don't know if I think, I don't know if those are chips in the wood from chairs or what, but we'll try to get that off.
much, much better. <sighs> so I'm just gonna continue that with all of my cupboards. So this vlog is totally all over the place, but I have a fresh bowl of some laundry detergent in warm water. And I'm gonna try the pot lid microfiber cloth hack on furniture. Just tying the microfiber cloth to the lid handle. Just like that, and then you like dip it in the solution and just wipe your furniture with it. So let's see how it works. I'm gonna show you how dirty our ottoman is just because Madeline eats on it. All right, so this is our ottoman. You can see there's like food on here, stains. There's another food stain. There's some over there. So it really just needs a freshening up. Let's try this. I've got my lid. Oh, this feels so wrong. Shake off some of the water or the solution. Oh gosh, you guys, this feels so wrong. I'll keep going and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so overall, you know what? I would rather just use a rag and wipe it myself. That was kind of silly using the pot lid. It did get off some grime. And then you can see in the bowl, it's a little dirty. It definitely freshened up my furniture. So next time I think I just use like a damp rag. But yeah, the lid was kind of silly. Hi friends. So. <laughs> This is kind of like a nesting, I'm not even like oh, this camera. I decided to hem my curtains because they were really long. So I've measured it out. I'm gonna cut. Literally, I'm just using liquid soap. So let's do this. You know what, I think it's gonna look fine in the front. And I think it'll be good. I'm not sure if you can see, but look, like, look, they're just dragging on the ground, so it looks awful. So hopefully it'll look much better once they're hemmed. But it really looks so much better. Oh my goodness. So happy with that. Yeah, definitely much better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry it was kind of all over the place, but um that's kind of my life at that time that was filmed a long time ago baby boy i'll give you a sneak peek since you guys have made it to the end of the video but there's baby boy so i have exciting videos um coming now that baby boy is born if you guys haven't already please hit the subscribe button down below give this video a like all the shebang anyways i'll see you next video bye guys